Well, I'm club captain, and which is a, which is a great honour. Peter they have to meet each other in the prelim rounds. They probably preferred it for the. Uh, was Peter they have to meet each other in the prelim rounds. Our final featured winner tonight is Tony Sasse, an international boxer who won the Sports Award for founding Kid Gloves, a pioneering project educating deprived kids on the importance of a calm attitude and a healthy mind and body. These kids are going through, you know, it's such a trauma when you, when you think about living in these inner cities. It's trauma that, you know, kids are getting murdered, they're smoking drugs, they're, they're, they're thieving, you know, I mean, it's just unbelievable. And we've got to remember, kids change from my area to this area, it's changed, they're faster, quicker, you know, and they're doing more things, there wasn't, there wasn't as much drugs as there is now, and they're taking everything, and for me it's very worrying, because my kids have got to grow up into this world today, and if somebody doesn't do anything, it's, it's, this, this whole thing is going to blow up. Today in society, we need young people to know how to control themselves and boxing is such a fun, wonderful tool of doing that because when you step into that ring you've got to have self-control and if we can build self-control in our young people that's when we're going to get a more vibrant community. So come on, let's get ourselves out here and let's do our stretches. The philosophy behind Kid Gloves is, like I said, to bring people together and, um, and that's what it is, it's getting kids together, making them help each other, getting them interact with each other, build self-esteem, you know, character building for their lives ahead. Boxing is such a fundamental tool, it builds all sorts of confidence in young people. I mean, when you get knocked down as a boxer, you know, you get, you, you, you stand up, you brush yourself off and you get on with it and that's adds within life and that's life today, you know, pick yourself up and get on with it, don't let yourself get dragged down by other people. And again. Good. Tony takes the Kid Gloves project to schools and community centres in his local neighbourhood and his positive approach helps the young people deal with inner city life. Some of the kids that I work with, their lives are just bleak, you know, and, and it's awful to say that, but that's what the inner city holds. You know, you either kick a ball or box to get yourself out of desperation, you know, and these kids are looking for ways to, to get themselves out of, you know, into a different light. And um, they were going nowhere. But now, within coming to kids' gloves, they get the education, meaning that, you know, eat healthy, keep fit. And then when we have our kids eating healthy and keeping fit, we, they can make the right choices in life. Listening, listen. If we're not concentrating, we're not going to be able to listen. We're not going to be able to listen in school. We're not going to be listening to parents. So let's start concentrating. Let's start stopping. This is hard work. Right. The main inspiration behind Tony's work was the death of his sister. For my sister committing suicide, it's helped me to inspire other young kids who feel like they want to give up on life. You know, these kids are going to be the ones 
who are going to be running this world. And we can't just give up on them. We need to value them. And that's why I inspire myself to try and do something for these young people. Turn on it. So from there, that's it. I don't get no money for doing this. I do this because I, I want to help young people develop their own self. Winning this award has been so important to me because now I know that there's people out there that value what I do. So you, you can't beat that self-esteem in their own minds and if I can do something like that and create something for them it will make me an happy man for the rest of my life. We're